guess what's new at 5.30? Paris, it certainly is one of your worst nightmares. Your child gets sick, you go to the hospital, and there's a long wait. Baptist Memorial Healthcare is getting its own children's hospital. It doesn't open until January 28th. But tonight, Fox 13's Good Morning Memphis anchor Trey Paul takes us inside. <laughs> Seeing a man on stilts is about as awesome as these lighted trees. Kids will see when they first walk inside the Spence and Becky Wilson Baptist Children's Hospital. This is for children, so it just kind of puts them at ease. Parents, this should put you at ease. We know seconds matter, so we asked CEO Anita Vaughn if wait times here will be shorter. That's adding five more exam rooms to the Memphis area. Uh, so I think we're going to be able to greatly help the ambulance drivers and wait times in general for parents. There's only one other children's ER in Memphis, and that's at Labonner's Children's Hospital. You know, the, the wait times are long. It's hard to get in. Uh, the, the hospitals are busy. That's what Dr. Fawn Lewis hears most from other parents. She's the medical director of Children's Surgical Services here, but she's a parent first. Some of the other facilities and other services in town are so overwhelmed that follow-up is difficult. It's hard to get back in to see those providers again, especially the subspecialists. Dr. Fawn says that won't be the case here, and it's easy to find. It's right next door to the Baptist Women's Hospital for women. The parents have always asked us, can't we come back here if we to hospital? So when they have flu, when they have fever, when when they're dehydrated, things that concern parents, maybe their pediatrician's office is closed. This hospital, built by the man on stilts, is open 24-7. In Memphis, Trey Paul, Fox 13 News.